Yeah, YouTube. So I got this do-it-yourself lithium LTO. So it's lithium titanate uh, cells. It's one bank, 40 AH bank. I uh, already balanced it. I ended up balancing it using some 14 gauge speaker wire, 14, 16 gauge speaker wire. I cut open, cut them open, pulled back the insulation to about two inches worth so that I'm able to rotate them around and then kept the insulation but two and three quarters of an inch, then cut another two inches, three quarters of an inch, two, two inches and three quarters and then pulled back another two inches so on so on so on so this is after just uh, i did the balancing i had checked the voltage when it came in this one came in at 219.13.10.13 so and 0.16 now i followed the instructions saying to balance them for about two hours and if they have to be about 0.1 volts away apart from each other in order to start the assembly well posted that up on facebook and uh, some of the lithium uh, the lithium group i'm in suggested i just leave it overnight which i did so this is eight so then i did put the first two hours worth of what it, that came out to be and this one after two hours was 215 207, 206, 204, 203, and 203. Now, though it's not too far apart from each other, but uh, I still ended up going the 18 hours worth, and what it came out to was 2 2.09, 2.08, 2.08, 2.08, 2.07, 2.07. Now, figured out is if I would have put the one with the highest voltage starting highest voltage towards the middle it would have balanced out a little evenly instead of putting it at the end so the one furthest away from the cell uh, received the lowest amount of voltage very very minimal but still enough for me to be able to tell that uh, another thing i noticed it is i checked the resistance from one end to the other uh, when it was hooked up at first and I got a very very high resistance of uh, over a hundred and I thought well that's kind of strange because all I was doing was really checking continuity between one end to the other making sure that okay they're all connected and I got that reading now this one was weird because the positive end was showed up as a negative and then the negative end showed up as a positive on the um, on my digital multimeter. It's a cheap Harbor Freight one. But um, after about two, uh, the 18 hours worth uh, of uh, balancing, I noticed that the continuity changed to two. So, and about 2.6 on each, 2.1 on each side, which is perfect. I'll post a couple videos starting from the first of when I first connected them then after it was done on the, the first time around with, with which was a two hours worth and then the 18 hours worth um, I'll show that uh, here shortly for purposes of showing the continuity that I tested and to show how I loop these around uh, these uh, wires around to begin the balancing here it is I just kind of went around one ran up went around 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 and through so i'm sure i could have cut this a little more a lot of guys put these on rails and just kind of sit them sit them on, on a on a just a, a flat rail like for instance like that if you really think about it you only have enough contact for the surface here i'm looping it around and it's a straight shot to the other cell looped around that thread that thread that thread i actually like this method of mine better and just a little more pain in the ass if depending on how you take it but it's just it's part of the hobby so i mean you know you want to do it how you feel is correct and it is what it is man you can, and this is to me it was the cheapest because i already had this i didn't have to go buy a rail so i'm going to show you the resistance on one end all the way 
to the other. This is about 18 hours worth. That's what I got. So 0.7, that's that's even better uh, than, uh, than not. Like I said, it went up to like high hundreds when I had uh, just started doing the balancing. Because this is a do-it-yourself kind of deal, and uh, also purchased this from from Cody at Drop and Hertz. We've had a promotion on uh, group buys, if you will. Uh, and they had it, and Full Tilt had it, but I ended up going with with Drop and Hertz because of the shipping that that he was able to work with well, to less than what Full Tilt had it. I think they had that included in their cost, but. You know, I hate paying for freight, but when it kind of equated out, equaled out to less than the full price of Full Tilt had, why not go with them? I uh, also got these uh, Economy Gyms, Gyms, uh, what is it, uh, Machine Works, Bus Bars, came with the nuts. These are for the balancers right here. They go right there to balance everything out. Um, these, uh, I think it was, if you bought them with the bank, they turned out to be, I don't know, about 77 bucks. So I have them where, how I think they're going to go. These go, these are going to go on top, um, because I only have one bank and I bought the set for two banks just for future up potential upgrades. It's, I'm going to do one and one instead of two. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, and six. I think I just lost myself right there, but I'll I'll show you how I how I got put it together. We're finally assembled. Uh, this is the configuration. It's a little crooked, but here it is: uh, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, in series. I have my C Tech Muse 4.3 connected it's at bulk charge right now i'm use the agm little snowflake there that's uh, indicated it charges up to 14.7 which is what uh ideally where it's supposed to be um it, this thing's been working for the last 20 minutes it's getting pretty hot um, bolted it down need to put a little bit of silicone on here just so that it doesn't wiggle off I'm gonna measure it find the box and uh, cut a box up and put it in there so I can drop it into the car uh, we'll we'll see that's that's that's, uh, that's it that's, that's how it looks um, I'll keep everyone posted and then once I drop it in it's still a lot more work to do uh, as mentioned in the previous video I need to update the set point on my alternator to 14.7 or well, 14.7 would be fine since that's all i can charge unless i get a variable charger that i can set up to 15 what is it 15.3 was my other option 14.7 or 15.3 but uh until then we'll see